We're in it. I'm in my own room. I'm not in hell at all. I haven't got any change. Perhaps it didn't happen after all. Perhaps it did. But I'm alive. I'm alive. I've got a chance to change, and I will not be the man I was. I'll begin again. I will build my life. I will live to know that I fulfilled my life. I'll begin today. Throw away the past. And the future I build will be something that will last. I will take the time I have left to live, and I will give it all that I have left to give. I will live my days for my fellow men, and I live in praise of that moment when I was able to begin again. I will start anew. I will make amends. And I'll make quite certain that the story ends. On a note of hope, on a strong amen. And I thank the world and remember when I was a young fellow. Hello. Do you know the butcher's in the next street but one? I should hope so. What a remarkable boy, an intelligent boy. Do you happen to know if they've sold a prize turkey that was hanging up in the window? Not the big one, the enormous one. What, you mean the one as big as me? Oh, what a wonderful boy. So witty is a pleasure to talk to him. Yes, that's the one. It's still there. It is. Go and buy it. What's that? <laughs> Here's two sovereigns. Go and wake up the butcher and tell him to open his shop. Meet me there in ten minutes. Be holding that turkey and I'll give you a half a crown. Go on, run. Run, run! 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 <laughs> oh, what a lovely boy! I think I'm going to like children. Now, that's what I call a turkey. It's twice the size of Tiny Tim. Come on, dear boy. Let's go and open the toy shop. Thank you. Merry Christmas. And I'll have that. And some of those. And the hobby horse. And then some flutes and, and some trum trumpets. <laughs> and, and, and that doll. And some bows and arrows. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. And I, I must have a cricket bat. <laughs> and, and these. And these. And the horse and the spinning top. And the piano. And, and all those dolls. Oh, yes. Oh, I like that. Oh, and this beautiful coat. 
coat and several kites and the horse and these boats and some of these. Oh, oh, oh. And have that. Oh. Now, how much is all this? Oh. Um, oh. Well, never mind. Here are some sovereigns, and you can keep the change. Oh, thank you, Mr. Scrooge. And I shall require the services of several small boys to help to transport these delightful objects to their destination. And each boy shall receive a half a crown. Half a crown, yes, <laughs> Mr. Scrooge. Mr. Scrooge, what has happened? What's happened? It's perfectly simple, Pringle. I've discovered that I like life. <laughs> I like life, life likes me, life and I fairly fully agree. Life is fine, life is good, especially mine, which is just as it should be. I like pouring the wine, and why not? Life's a pleasure that I deny not. I like life. Here and now, life and I made a mutual vow. Till I die, life and I, we both try to be better somehow. And if life were a woman, she would be my wife. Why? Because I like life. Oh, look, it's life. I like life. Life likes me. I made life a perpetual spree. Eating food, drinking wine, thinking food like the privilege to dine me. I like living the life of pleasure. Pausing only to take my leisure. I like songs, I like dance, I hear music and I'm in a trance. Tra la la, oh papa, chances are I shall get up and prance. <laughs> Happiness is right. Why? Why? Because I like God. <laughs> Uncle Ebenezer. <laughs> oh, oh, Merry Christmas to you, my dear nephew, and to your enchanting wife. We were just on our way to your house with some presents. These are for you. From an old fool who deeply regrets the Christmases gone by that he might have shared with you. And this is for you, my dear. A sort of belated wedding present. Oh, Uncle Ebenezer. Thank you. Christmas lunches, sharp at three. May we expect you? You may. I'll be there. Oh, you are a pretty girl. <laughs> I love songs, I love dance, I hear music and I hear trance.
Yes, this story is for you, my dear, and this one is for you, and this pretty little dolly is for you. It's the dolly in the corner. <laughs> those are for you, my boy. Thank you. And, and these, Bob Cratchit, are for you and your good lady. I must leave you now, as you can imagine. It's a very busy day for me, and I have many more calls to make. <laughs> ah, I almost forgot. Huh? This is for you. You didn't steal it, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't steal it. It's a present for you to keep a Merry Christmas, Daddy. You still don't recognize me, do you, Bob Cratchit? Yes. Uh, no. Uh, you, your father Christmas? <laughs> no. Ah! It's Mr. Scrooge. He's gone mad. It's, it's all right, my dear. There's, there's nothing to be frightened of. <laughs> no, I haven't gone mad. And on Monday, when your salary will be doubled? Doubled? He has gone We'll mad. sit together and discuss how I could help your family to start with. We'll find the right doctors to decide it's him well, and we will get him well, you know, Bob. Yes, I believe you. I believe anything. <laughs> and may this be the merriest Christmas of all our lives. Some Jenkins, some Jenkins. About that six pounds you owe me. You agreed to give me a few more days, Mr. Scrooge. I just need You can more... keep it. It's my Christmas present to you. God bless you this Christmas day, Mr. Scrooge. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's the nicest thing that anyone's ever done for me. It sounds a bit bizarre, but things the way they are. I feel as if another life's begun for me. And that goes for anyone else who owes me money. You can keep it as of this day. All my debts are anyone's ever done for me. It isn't every day good fortune comes my way. I never thought the future would be fun for me. <laughs>
Hello. I don't know whether you can hear me, old Jacob Marley, and I don't know whether or not I imagined the things I saw, but between the pair of us, we, we finally made a Merry Christmas, didn't we? I have to leave you now. Must go and get ready. I'm going to have Christmas dinner with my family. <laughs> <laughs>